Boy, oh boy, I'm locking myself out. That's not good. See if I can get this closer. Make this look clear. I was doing more than a weekly startup, man. I like to be driving this bad girl. Oh, look, my top speed was 96 miles per hour. Oh, boy. I always like to check my, um, my tire pressure. I do got one tire that's a little low. Front driver's at 41. Rear passenger's 41. Then I got driver rear 40. Passenger 39. That's odd. You know, and at the same time, I'm watching my Buffalo Bills destroy the Miami Dolphins. What a game. Go Bills. Yeah, it does rumble. What a rumble. I don't know how good, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know how good that's coming through to you guys, but. Yeah, this car absolutely rumbles. One thing I want to do is get <clears throat> LED fog lights, because if you notice the fog lights, I don't, I don't want to glare it, but the fog lights aren't the same color. It's not going to come through, but... The fog lights aren't LED. That's one changeover I'm gonna do for my scat pack. And uh, I may do more striping on it. I'm thinking about doing the top of the roof. So then I would have the, the hood done. The hood would be on the top. So then I'm thinking of doing the top of the roof here to the trunk there. And then that's, that might be a Yeah, I got a, the Dodge Slash marks on my um, spoiler. I noticed some guys got the Scat Pack logo. I don't know why I never had the Scat Pack logo on. I put that on myself. Look, anybody that sees this, you know, get back to me. It is a 2020 uh, Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack. Um, I had no Scat Pack logo on my spoiler, and I was just wondering why. I see so many challengers that have them, and mine didn't have it. I, I just, again, I just don't know why. So like the two uh, slash marks for Dodge, like these, I put on, <clears throat> I put on my spoiler, you know, just to kind of give it a little, a little dressing up, you know. 
But again, you know, it's my weekly startup. Actually, I'm a little late. Because today's Sunday. Usually I do it Friday to Friday. So, actually, it's been two weeks. But what a rumble when I started this bad boy. Or bad girl. Damn, my tire dressing ought to be dry by May, I hope. It still looks wet, but... Yeah, if you guys got challengers out there, the RT scat packs, and you don't have these lights for the door, the inside of the door, you should get them, man. They're great. I love them. Look at that. It looks so cool. And when it's dark, it looks even cooler. Okay. You know, usually when I do my startup, um, I usually let it run for about 10 minutes. Even though I'm in a heated garage, um, I do it to just keep the fluids moving, you know, to keep her good to go. <clears throat> That's usually what I do. You know, so get back to me. Let me know what you guys do for your startups and all that. You know, how long you let them run. I imagine for you guys, and I feel bad for you, to have to have your car outside. And I imagine your warm-up time is a little bit different, a little bit longer. And you probably do startups a little bit more than once a week or bi-weekly. 